Welcome to Get Lipped Fishing and to part two of the last week's night session. What the heck? On today's episode, we're chasing after tarpon again, one of my favorite fish. And if you guys are getting value out of this channel's content, uh, it would mean a lot to me if you subscribe to the channel and like this video. So stick around and hold on tight. It's going to be a good one. Wild. This thing took a crazy first run though. Pretty wild. Thing ran at the beginning like he was a monster. Not that that thing's small <laughs> at all, but he's just really fat. He's really muscular. Super, super tall. Hmm. It's really hard for me to do anything because I'm stuck on a rock. <laughs> nice fish, dude. He got you in the rock for a second, but you weighed him out and he, he came out. He's going bye bye. He's going bye bye. See you. Nice. All right, uh, I need some help getting uh, off this truck. <laughs> currently, currently situated it is nicely inside of a inside of a rock. Man, I missed the tarpon. Missed those guys. That was ridiculous. <laughs> it's it's fascinating. I don't know how you do these things. Man, I missed the tarpon. Alright, this side does have something. Alright. Snapped you, huh? <laughs> Had that grouper drag. Seeing if you're in top water grouper and you get top water. Okay. Okay. Hi, uh, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I still miss you guys. But now I know you're alive and here. Happy about that. Huh. Hold on tight. Oh, little guy, sick. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, I was in slow mo. Dang it, that's all right. He should jump again. Oh. And that is what happens. That's what happens with the little tarpon. They do that. Wow, that's the smallest one we've ever hooked. Not ever, but out here. Since we've started doing these. I mean, it's a good sign. Two fish in 20 minutes. Three fish. That's one. That's a little bit better one. Oh, oh my gosh, dude. This thing is insane. He's kind of trying to go around the other side. We'll put the brakes on here for a second. Jeez Louise, this thing's doing nuts. He's, we're good, we're good here. I'll try to go back to the front. Wow, that didn't take long. That was literally first cast with the quote unquote tarpon bait. Dude, perfect size one. Perfect size one. Oh! 
so sick. Oh my gosh. There he comes again. <laughs> oh, there's not much you can do there. Holy cow. Literally first cast. I think I'm gonna do that again. Holy cow. You ready to catch a couple tarpon? That is uh, three fish though in 20 minutes. So maybe the bites are about to turn on after all night waiting, seeing zero tarpon. That might be a good sign for us. I'm stoked. Answers our question. This is sick. Came off. That's talking fishing. <laughs> that's that's uh, four hookups, zero fish. <laughs> Jeez, dude. This is insane. We just can't see him. I see some crabs now. Yeah, that was pretty wild. Gonna be doing that and get just a Mondo sheephead. Anchored up. And you. Small guy. If it's a tarpon, might be like a snapper or something. Holy cow, what did I just say? I'm gonna be doing this and get a Mondo sheephead. <laughs> That's classic, dude. You just talk about it and it happens. Come back here and I'm just gonna swing him right into the live well. We'll grab this. Wow. That's a big sheep. Yeah, might as well. That might be like one of the biggest sheeps I've ever caught even. So, we have this thing going on where I say something and then like four seconds later it happens. Talking about, man, I really missed the tarpon. Corey hooks the tarpon. So I'm just gonna be casting one of these times and hook a Mondo sheep head. Mondo sheep head. And I think he's gonna uh, go home with us with those other fish we got for some lunch tomorrow or something. Also, that may be the biggest sheephead I've ever caught. It's a pretty good one. Your new sheephead, uh, eight big mullet looking stuff. We do now. There you go, buddy. <laughs> All right, back to target fishing. There he is. Oh, he just ate me. Oh my goodness. That was nuts. Had, had a little bit of slack, I didn't feel the bite. But he chomped me. Holy cow. That was a little bit bigger fish there. That was insane. Oh, got him. Good one. Coming up. Ew. Oh. I think he busted me that time. Holy cow. That was nuts. Oh, I got my bait back. Cool. Really cool. That's a good. That's a good feeling. Got my bait back. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought too. Oh. My, wow, okay. Hmm. I think. I think I'm pretty, <laughs> I think I'm pretty pent up here. Uh, yep. You gotta probably lighten the drag up a little bit on, on that kind of fish right there. Luckily, I bought a brand new pack of these the other day, so I'm golden. Holy cow, I love tarpon. All right, I'm re-rigged. I'm gonna do the old second piling, see how that goes. Oh. 
Jeez, the head shakes are insane. They're absolutely insane. He's kind of coming back this way. Coming close, coming close. Off the back of the boat now. Staying down here, governor. Now he's coming up drop. I'm gonna go up to the front. Oh my gosh. Insane tarpon. He's kind of just hanging out right here on this side. Like a crazy man. <laughs> oh yes. Yeah. Jeez, it's so clear right now. Going under the boat a little bit. Behind the boat, huh? See you. I am really glad I had a Celsius earlier. I'm almost kind of figured I just got eaten. This is not good. It's just really heavy weight, guys. Uh, no. That's not what you want to hear. I see a shark right here. Uh, open the bail because maybe that's just my fish trying to hard. You want to drive over and see if we can get on top of this thing? He's alive! <laughs> yes! Dude, he just gave it a second win because he saw that shark. I still got him though. Oh gosh, this is crazy. Miraculous! I want to get him in and just try to get this hook out really fast. Not slow. Ugh. Come on, come on, guy. All right, there he is. No, not a mark on him, dude. I'm kind of sketched out to be in the, near the water though with my hand, that's for sure. Not a mark on him. He he was just he just took off because of uh, that shark that came by. All right, uh, I guess since it's my fish, I'm gonna give you the rod. I'm gonna get down low and try to get this guy off. All right. Ah. There we go. That's what I wanted, to break it off. I tried to grab his mouth and the hook went in my finger when he shook. That's best case scenario right there. We don't want to mess around with any sharks. He gets a little, little lip ring and we're done. Time to retie.